Ahmad asked us to inspire him with a PA Lata logo. Ahmad, we've done three for you. This is the first one. And this is the second one that we're going to be doing together. And the last one looks like this. So join me. Let's inspire Ahmad. From Canvas homepage, select a blank logo canvas. You're first going to change the background so that you can see what you're doing. For this one, we're going to make it a little bit gray. And then we're going to add a circle. So you press C for circle and you change the color of your circle. You make it white. Press T for text and then change the font of your design to limelight. Then we're going to change the font and we're going to write capital letters PA and we're going to size that so that it fits nicely in the round circle. Then we press T again. Then we type the rest of the name of the company. Then we're going to reduce the size of the rest of the company name and we change that to white and then we press L for line so that we have a nice line below our latter and we also change that to white and we make that line a little bit big and then we zoom in to see and align our design spot on. And that is our first design. Next, we're going to add a second page and we're going to give Amit a different idea. And then we're going to make this one, the background white. We press T for text. We change the font. We call this one a Mergrim. And then we make the name of the company and we enlarge that to like 150 so that it's nice and big like that then we press t for text and we change the font to Mergrim and we write the rest of the name of the business then we press l and we make a very thin line that fits with the design so that it doesn't overpower the, de the design and the letters that are so sexy and thin this is the second design the last one that I want to show you that I thought was fun we are going to add a circle and we press C for circle we're gonna make our circles color we're gonna make that gray for some reason I'm going with gray today then we press C for circle again and we're going to make our inner circle we're gonna make that white so that we can have a nice gap. Then we're gonna use this nice font and we're gonna add our text for the font in here. And we're gonna change the font to gray as well. And we're gonna add lata as the word over there. So we're gonna press T for text. So what we wanna do with this one, we want to have the lata curve on the name just below the the big logo so what we're gonna do now we're gonna go to effects and we're gonna use our background effect for this one and it automatically makes the background yellow so you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna change the color and you're gonna make the color white and you're going to scroll down and go to curve and when you get to curve, you're going to curve it the other way around so that it curves on our logo like that. We're going to make sure that it is not rounded like that because that doesn't look nice. We're going to just quickly change the color to gray so that it's aligned. But we're going to go back to our effects and we're going to take off the roundness so that the curve is not round but it is exactly like a straight line like that and it makes the logo look so cool and and nice we're going to convert the logos to 3d so we're gonna go down and download it as a transparent background and we're going to then re-upload the third one to take off the whiteness so that when we get to photo p it looks stunning 
so if you don't have the transparent background you can always trial it for 30 days using my canva link down on my description i'm just gonna download it now so the third one i wanna take off the whiteness so i'm gonna just re-upload it to canva as you'll see that it has a white inside i want to take that off so i'm going to size it and then i'm going to go edit image and go background remover and then remove the background so that when we get to photo p it's blank inside so you open www.photop.com it's free open source software you can use your own template by clicking on open from computer or you could use a psd template so i'm going to click on psd template because our friends at graphics family have uploaded very cool looking psd files so you're going to click on mockups so that you can pick any mockup that you want to use I'm going to double click on glass effect logo mockup and wait for the mockup to load double click where it says your logo here we hide our text and we click it we drag our logo we size it so that it's nice and big we align it we go file save as smart object if you don't see save as smart object you missed a step then we click on the glass effect logo and we wait and our gorgeous looking logo is converted you go file export as png and then you export your file i'm going to convert the second logo but i'm going to fast forward the process because you've seen it and if you go to my logo playlist you can watch the steps and the process as plenty times as you want ahmad i hope we gave you enough inspiration and you have a lot of ideas to go run with your logo now if you want us to help you with your own and inspire you give me details of what you want me to create for you please go watch the next video of us creating ai with nothing but shapes i will see you on the next video